Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I currently look like a hot mess, um, but it is a very gloomy day today here in Sacramento. It is rainy, you can see outside. It just, the trees look pretty, but it is officially a gloomy fall day. It's been raining all day and I don't really have any plans to do anything and I've been feeling just a little down lately. I think it's just like the weather, it's not as sunny all kinds of things so i decided i've been seeing the like articles about how um putting up christmas decorations early apparently like has been boosting people's mood scientifically i have never been one to jump over like halloween and thanksgiving like i think they need their due celebration like i never ever ever have decorated for christmas before thanksgiving um but i think and we're not doing anything crazy we're not putting up a tree this year or anything just because i don't really even know where we would put it in this apartment one and two um the season starts the 22nd kyle probably won't even like we probably won't even be here like physically here in sacramento um he'll probably be traveling somewhere like just the chances of us actually spending christmas here like physically here uh is very low and um also my one of my best friend's birthdays is the 26th so if we can't go home for christmas which i'm assuming kyle and i can't go home for christmas because of the season um i'm gonna be flying out the next day because i want to see her for it's like a her birthday and celebrating her graduating like it's a two for one and i don't want to miss it and i said i would be there because I thought we would be able to go home for Christmas because I didn't think the season would start in December, but I was wrong. Um, but I do want to see my family over the holidays too, so um, I'm just going to go home the 26th. So that's like another reason why I don't want to like put up a big tree and like all this stuff. So <laughs> to say, I think I'm just going to go to Target and Home Goods, like all those fun little stores, and try to find just like little cute Christmas decorations, like small things I could do to decorate this apartment to make it feel christmasy and cheery and get in the spirit of um christmas so yeah I, i'm gonna do that as you can see like look at my hair i have just been laying in bed all morning i don't even know what time it is it's 11 o'clock and i still look like this i have pants on but it's 11 o'clock um so it's time for me to just stop laying in bed and what i've just been watching the greatest the greatest british baking show so i am going to shower and get dressed and we are gonna go try to find some christmas cheer see here is here's me let's do a fun transition shall we we shall okay got on some gymshark leggings which i just bought gymshark for the first time um well first hold on Gymshark leggings and then this very old DePaul sweatshirt and my hair is back in a bun so if you come here for fashion I'm not her just so you know this is what I look like all the time 80% of the time anyways I bought Gymshark leggings for the first time um, I've never ever ever worn anything Gymshark ever for some reason in my brain I thought that they were like very expensive but they're way cheaper than Lululemon like way cheaper and honestly i really like their leggings i will say that these ones that i got are cute more cute for like wearing around like running errands not really for working out because they kind of fall down but the other pair that i got the style it like stays and it holds and they look so good and they're actually so comfy so i don't know why it took me so long to just discover gymshark but um really love that actually got some groceries like some snacks and stuff and just like groceries for the week but another reason why I really do want to go is yes for Christmas decorations but also I'm out of like toilet paper and paper towels and I think in California we're gonna have another lockdown and I want to make sure that I grab some of that before what happens last what happened last time when like the grocery stores were out of everything repeats itself so i also really want to go to target just to get that because they didn't have um the because i went to sprouts and like sprouts has like their own version of toilet paper and 
I want like Charmin Ultra Soft or something like that. So hopefully at Target I can find those. And I'm really picky about paper towels too. Um, so hopefully I can find those at Target and they have some still. And I can beat the little rush for that. Um, but another side note. I've had nothing to eat today. It's 11 o'clock. I mean, I usually don't eat until about noon. Not for any particular reason. I just, I'm not hungry. But I'm worried I'm going to get hungry while I'm out. And I really don't want to spend money on food. Because I just spent so much money on groceries. So, I think I need to go before I start getting like hangry and really hungry. I only think I'll be gone for like an hour and that's perfect. And I can just come back and make something. So, anyways, I got my mask and let's go. Let's do this thing. I'm gonna take you off the tripod because um, that's less awkward in public. I seriously love JoJo. Okay, um, I just wanna, when I was going to the elevator, I literally stood there for 10 minutes before I realized that I never pressed the down button. I was like, oh my gosh, this elevator is taking such a long time. Like, no. You didn't press the button here at Target you can't really see it but I'm here and I forgot that Ulta was actually next to Target and I ran out I've been out of my first aid beauty face wipes and honestly my skin has been so bad without them I'm actually doing a video though on function of beauty skincare because I want to start a series on like products that influencers talk about so much to see if they're actually good you know what I mean so I want to try the function of beauty and see if it's actually good um, let me know what other products that you guys um, see influencers talk about all the time and you want to know if they're actually good um, cause I think that would be such a fun series to do. Wow. Okay. I'm talking a lot. Let's go into Target, shall we? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, folks. Except not Northern California. Unless I drive to the snow, which is actually very close. <laughs> able to snag like some stuff but this is crazy I guess I'll just get these well guys that was a little bit of a fail I um, went into Target I here's the thing I just have decorations and storage so there are so many things I wanted to buy, but I was like, oh, we have one of those already. Like, I don't want to have, like, all this insane stuff. I don't want to rebuy stuff that we already have. But I also don't really feel like going to storage and shifting through all that stuff to find the Christmas stuff. Like, I was going to buy pillows, but I was like, we have pillows. <laughs> They're just in storage. But I really, really want that we don't have is, like, some cute garland to put over, like, um some of the furniture i think that'd be so cute we're not gonna be looking crazy christmasy today but it was still fun to get out get some fresh air and remember when i said <laughs> i'm trying to get home so i don't spend money out eating because i have food at home and i just spent money on groceries groceries but i'm starving and now that i'm out i just want to stop for something i said it i said it i just want to stop for something I said it. I know. I know I'm going back on my word. I know. Ooh, you know what sounds so good that I cannot have is five guys. Ooh. I mean, I can have it. I'm not completely vegan, but it's definitely not part of the diet. Let me tell you that. Well, not diet, but I'm just trying to eat better. But I've been eating good all week. I just know it's going to hurt my stomach. I know I'm going to pay for it. I know. That's the, I know I'm going to pay for it. But it sounds, sounds so good. I just want a good burger and some french fries because it's been a tough week. It's been a stressful week and I feel like I deserve it. Honestly, I do. I deserve it. You deserve it. So, you know what? I bought all those healthy groceries. 
dinner will be healthy. I'm eating healthy tomorrow. I worked out five days this week. So, screw it. Let me talk to myself into it. Guess where I'm going. Not to eat healthy, that's where. Okay, so I know last time I said I was gonna go full send on Five Guys, it's right there. Um, but I forgot that the Five Guys is next to this place called Pizza Press, which if you're from the Midwest, you don't know what that is. But Pizza Press is basically like a subway of pizza. Like you go in and you can make your own pizza and they have a cauliflower crust option. Can very easily make this a very not that bad of a meal. I can make it a gluten-free meal. I can just put some veggies on the pizza, like no cheese. I could do the healthier routes, but, uh, but the five guys, and I'm just gonna keep thinking about it. I'm just gonna like keep thinking about five guy. Like I'm gonna be thinking about him when I'm eating my healthy pizza press, when I'm at home sitting on my couch, I'm just gonna go to bed and think about him. So, screw it, I'm getting, that's what I'm doing. You know those TikToks that are like, um, I'm not gonna do a girl, I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> Literally what I was thinking, guys, I did it. And we're gonna eat in the car before we drive home. Woo! Mm. Oh, I'm making a mess. If you guys want to see it? Here it is. So pretty. Mm. <laughs> wow. Mm. This hit. Mm. Okay, guys, I am back home safe and sound and wanted to show you. What I got from Target. Oh my goodness. I wish you, you guys are literally sitting on top of a wine glass. All right, here's what I got from Target. Very small haul. This is the only Christmas decor that I got, but how freaking cute is this? Matches the aesthetic, matches the vibe. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I really thought this was so cute. So yeah, I got some pine cone action. This is the only actual decor that I got. And then other than that, I got PJs. How cute are these? I got a size, size large for myself because I like to be in oversized things. But oh, how cute. It's so crazy because I know they just put these out and they were basically gone of like all the good ones. Like this was my favorite and all the men's were completely gone. And there were barely any left in the women's too. Like I couldn't even find a medium if I wanted one. So I just got a large. So I just got Kyle and XXL in women's. And this isn't even the pants. It's just the shirt. I feel like he can wear whatever pants. But how cute. Last year we had um, matching pants. And then uh, office themed Christmas sweatshirt. Which was so fun. And I loved. So I got us these. I figure I can just keep an eye out for the pants for him. But, um, I mean, they're the same. Like, the male ones look exactly the same. They just didn't have a size. They only had small. And then I got some fun, fuzzy socks. I used to have so many fuzzy socks growing up. But they've all just disappeared. I only have, like, one pair. So I bought these Christmas ones and then these other fuzzy socks. And I got these ones how fun these ones have polka dots on them i don't know if it's registering but yeah that's basically all i got from target and then i got these singular rolls <laughs> i got three of these and some toilet paper some charmin this is literally the only like not off-brand toilet paper that i'm like really picky with toilet paper and paper towels because i think it actually matters and this was like the only brand that they had left the other brand was just like the target brand and it's so crazy because they even announced that things are closing yet or that we're back on shutdown i just feel like people can feel it and people know um so anyways 
yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for joining me, my little adventure. Even if it didn't pan out the way that I thought it would, it was still fun to hang with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you're not subscribed, subscribed. If you aren't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, turn on the bell notifications. You guys know all the, all the jazz. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.